The fact that the narcissist's partner stays despite increasing abuse contributes to the narcissist's disillusionment, leading to devaluation and even eventual full discard of the non-narcissistic spouse or significant other. The narcissist needs their partner to be a punching bag, somebody that they can easily con and control, but they also grow disgusted with their partner for having these certain traits. This locks them into a perpetual state of looking for an upgrade, which explains why pretty much all narcissists engage in infidelity. Not all narcissists, but I would say 90% of narcissists. They are never satisfied with what it is that they have. They are like sharks swimming around in the ocean, searching for attention and their next feed. On the extreme end of narcissism, they can be guaranteed to have a codependent spouse. They cannot be married to a psychologically uh, healthy person. Someone with healthy self-esteem would immediately leave the, nar the narcissist. The pathologies of the narcissist and their codependent spouse align perfectly, locking them both into an unsatisfying, unhappy state from which they cannot escape. Neither of them can escape. In fact, staying together means that it gets worse over time and the narcissist abuse will escalate, making them more narcissistic in the long run. Their needs and uh, become more narcissistic. They makes that makes the codependent or the spouse or the significant other less likely to stand up for themselves and leave the narcissist this sad circular dynamic supports the narcissist because it gives them a consistent ego feed and the narcissist um that false mask of being a normal family guy is supported and it gives it supports the codependent spouse because they feel needed and giving which is what codependents do for the most part is give as their only source of self-worth that they the codependent will feel deep down the narcissist and their spouse both despise one another but they are locked together due to codependent pathologies and trauma bonding a very sad and destructive situation i believe that a person who is predisposed to providing a narcissist with the high octane attention that they crave will also be prone to being a caring person with a very good heart who in turn is likely um, to be more apt to give second chances. I think a narcissist would prefer his or her primary supply to be empathetic, honest, compassionate, considerate, giving, moral, caring, good, intellectually curious, decent, kind, giving people the benefit of the doubt, wanting to see good in people, willing to look at their role in things, tenacious, idealistic, optimistic, a high belief in love, striving to know the truth. They just want to be happy. They are intelligent, honest, good listeners, observant, and narcissists want their significant others to be empathetic, immediately responsive to all texts, phone calls, questions, concerns, and needs, affirming and validating, generous and giving. They are intuitive to whatever is on the narcissist's mind, sensitive to the narcissist's feelings, so totally devoted to them, forgiving of shortcomings, um, financial ministers, responsible for upkeep of the home when the narcissist is doing none of the, the homework, emotional caregivers and caretakers who have a calming and stabilizing effect on the narcissist, stern when necessary, but not mean-spirited. I think in general, many significant others of a narcissist would like to believe that their their relationship partner sought them out because of the aforementioned character traits and they are fundamental attributes to what makes somebody a good person. Unfortunately, though, the truth of the matter is that uh, at least partial, the, the truth may partially lie somewhere else. And I think it is important to note that narcissists are likely full aware, fully aware of the people who have the aforementioned reference traits and characteristics that are going, they are going to be predisposed to being forgiving, prone to overlook the abusive behavior, willing to make accommodations, accommodations for the narcissist and accepting that at times there will be inequity in this relationship and that there is a given there is no give and take balance in this relationship. And in general, narcissists view the world from a survival of the fittest 
perspective. Consequently, narcissists do not see the aforementioned reference character traits as being necessarily being admirable. Rather, a narcissist would like to see these traits that I just listed as being a liability, a sign of vulnerability, a sign of weakness, a green light for the narcissist to probe to determine if you are exploitable. Pursuant to a narcissist dog-eat-dog -dog, um, worldview, he or she may perceive their significant other to be a soft touch, a mark, a dupe, naive, a sucker, a fool, gullible, and in conclusion, the narcissist is apt to seek out a significant other who would be inclined to provide a rather focused attention and unconditional love. A significant other who provides that those things that I just mentioned is likely to be a caring, kind, and compassionate person with a good heart. And I think that narcissists are likely aware that the people who have the aforementioned characteristic traits um, are predisposed to being easily manipulated uh, more than a selfish person would. The narcissist in many extreme cases is blinded by their own perception. To real, They're too blinded to realize that it's an illusion and to be imagining monsters that encompass all that is bad because narcissists when forced must only see themselves as good seeing yourself as good or bad is not it does not equate to being bad or good in reality it's, it is simply a perception everyone else must always turn out to be bad for a narcissist because in this 4d type land everything not everyone is reflective of the narcissist and no one actually exists besides the narcissist unfortunately narcissists do not acknowledge this 4d type reality that they live in and instead perceive uh perceive it to be their actual reality and due to their inability to see the goggles on their face that you can that that they can, they resolve that you are crazy. But remembering that you only exist as a permanent reflection of the narcissist.